Hey heroes, Cap here. And last night, Marvel dropped the trailer for Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness, and it looks amazing. There's so many Easter eggs and teasers and what this movie is going to set up for Phase 4 and exactly what we're going to get from this movie. And I'm so excited and hyped and I got to calm down. We're going to break this down. We're going to watch it. Take a look at it, kind of break it down while we're looking and seeing if there's anything that we missed or if there's any kind of Easter eggs that we're going to get to get us ready for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But as always, if you go on to enjoy the video and are hyped for this movie, smash that thumbs up and hit the subscribe to come along for the journey where I'll break down more Easter eggs, more of this trailer, and see exactly what is in store for us with Marvel Phase 4. But let's get in and check out this trailer. So here we go. We've got the trailer here. Um, kind of break it down. I've watched this quite a bit, but it's really interesting how it's like every night I've dreamed the same dream. Showcase and like, oh, when he's asleep, it's peaceful, but when he wakes up, like, what exactly is going on in the world? Oh, so much here that we can like break down and look at. So we're talking about like the nightmare. Obviously, everything that happened in Spider-Man's already happened. I did what I had to do. Ooh, chaos magic there. Maybe the dark hold? Our world. You cannot control everything strange. Ooh, but strange is a control freak. You opened the doorway between universes. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. Rachel McAdams is back. Wanda. Wanda? What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. Hmm. He was talking about vision there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. Okay. Your desecration of reality. Maybe that's like a in-between world. Go unpunished. Ultron bots? The council? We should tell him the truth. Did anyone else hear Professor X there? Okay, we got America Chavez. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're a hero. Oh, what? That doesn't seem fair. Oh, that's a punch. That's a beast, though. What's that in her eyes? Zombies! Oh my gosh. So there's so much to like break down and look at in that entire trailer that we got. We're talking about like Doctor Strange using chaos magic, kind of like maybe he's trying to understand Wanda and her powers. We've got the little Ultron bots, the the council it looked like, um, the Illuminati, which referenced um in the comics they're a group of people who kind of oversee everything obviously dr strange has broken the rules that's why he's being uh, taken to them by ultron and this could be one of the different multiverses where iron man's idea of a suit of armor around the world ultron around the world protecting it actually worked came be came true and we're able to figure it out i mean on the council we could have professor x we could have uh, Reed Richards as like you can zoom in and see kind of like one of them has like a chess piece kind of looks like a 2000 Reed Richards from the first uh, Fantastic Four um, what looked like I wanted to say it was like Captain Marvel at first with, like the glowing and everything but you kind of see like beam so it's like maybe it's a variant maybe it's Monica Rambeau in her or, or maybe it's a variant of them or it's possibly as you can see with this zoom in picture here you see a little bit of like a goatee some facial hair is that Tom Cruise? Are we finally getting Tom Cruise as Iron Man? As that's one of the many fan favorites that everyone's been like, oh, Tom Cruise is superior Iron Man. Like he's the one that kind of created the Ultron bots that actually work and protect the world. That's why they're silver, because superior Iron Man in the comics and, and everything else has been silver, kind of the open face um mask. 
and the beams of energy coming out of his hands, the lasers, essentially, repulsors. So with all these, one of the things that I really liked was their use of quotes and talking and how they would just say things like uh, Wanda. One thing that she says is, you break the rules and you're the hero. I do it. I'm the enemy. That doesn't seem fair. They talking about their warping of realities where Wanda warped, essentially, a town. Took everyone's mind, Westfield, everything to get her happy ending. And Doctor Strange did it to have everyone forget who Spider-Man was. And then, if you haven't seen Spider-Man No Way Home, spoilers, did it again and everyone forgot who Spider-Man was. So they would stop coming after him. Which both obviously affect realities. However, one was dealt with in a, oh, okay, don't do that. Other one was like, oh, we need to take her down. Like, she's doing terrible things to these people. So it really depends on kind of their reasoning and their motives. It's interesting to see how one is viewed as a hero, the other one's viewed more as a villain. And for pretty much her entire run in the MCU, Scarlet Witch, Wanda, has been viewed more as a villain than a hero. And of course, we have to talk about the we should tell him the truth, which everyone thinks is Patrick Stewart, which it very well could be Patrick Stewart. However, I don't think that's the Professor X we're going to be getting with our new X-Men when they're introduced in the MCU. I do believe that they're going to stick with the, the newest Professor X that we got. I think he's going to be the one that rolls out in the end. Maybe he just does a very good Patrick Stewart impersonation, and that's how they kind of get him through. I feel like that's the smarter way to go. However, on this council, I do think it's Patrick Stewart. I also am going to say that it's going to be Reed Richards. I'm going to say Captain Carter is on there as in the glass panes of the poster that they released. You can zoom in and see all kinds of teasers. There's an eye. There's Deadpool who's hushing. So I, I guess we can't talk about Deadpool being in the poster, but we're talking about it. So breaking that wall there, but Deadpool um, we also see Captain Carter's shield and a few other things. We've got zombies in this trailer as well, which means the events of What If, even though it's an animated series and kind of seemed unrelated to the MCU, is just more of a fun thing to do to bring in other comic storylines. Actually plays a big part in the MCU. I mean, we've got Sinister Strange. We've got the Zombie Strange, Zombie Wanda, which is just terrifying. And go the... What she could do with her powers is completely scary. And I like how the, the trailer kind of opens up with talk about having the same dream. And then when he wakes up, that's when the nightmare begins. And he kind of looks like he's in his room, but it's very, like, extravagant. So maybe he's not. Maybe he's been held prisoner because he's broken the rules. So he's kind of under arrest or however that works for wizards. But it's very interesting to see him talk about how in his, when he's asleep, that's when he's dreaming, even though there's all these crazy things and monsters going and just chaos, it seems. But then when he wakes up, it seems normal and peaceful, and that's when he calls it the the nightmare. So maybe he really is studying chaos magic to understand Scarlet Witch better because he thinks her powers are the key to the multiverse. Which leads me into my theory that this is going to be a House of M style storyline. Now, House of M in the comic books is actually where all the mutants die because of Scarlet Witch. After she has a breakdown, she kind of goes through some issues, getting it all out, trying to fix herself, getting her on the right path. Everyone's realizing that Scarlet Witch is clearly way stronger than any of them can control or deal with, and the best possible solution is to kill her. However, she's like, oh, no, I'll just kill all of you faster. And she does with just a little. And all mutants are gone. I think that the MCU is going to do this in a different sense, that they're going to come after Wanda. And she's like, you can't beat one of me. What if you can beat all of me? And she does her little chaos magic and mutants appear all over the world. She doesn't make. She doesn't make them all disappear because of attacking her. She makes them appear because other outside sources are attacking her instead. This would be a really good way to bring in the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and just a whole bunch of, like, hero drop pretty much anyone they want into the MCU using Wanda, which is kind of their key. Like, that's perfect. Use somebody whose powers are so strong that she can bend reality 
possibly even travel to other multiverses, similar to how America Chavez seems to just appear out of nowhere. Kind of interesting to see where her story leads, whether she's a variant from another universe. Is she part of this MCU? Is she going to stick around, or is this just one show and done and comes back in her own show later on? Uh, how long are these variants going to be for? It's very exciting. There's a lot to break down, a lot to do. There's a lot of cameos. There's even stuff in the TV spotlight that wasn't in the trailer, i.e. like Defender Strange. Like, How many Doctor Stranges are we getting in this movie? I can't wait, and as I break this down and figure out more Easter eggs and dive more and more into this, I will keep sharing with y'all. So be sure to hit that subscribe and come along for the journey as I continue to break down all the Marvel news and Marvel Easter eggs that they put out, as this is quite possibly going to be the most exciting movie that we've had since, well, since Spider-Man No Way Home, to be honest. With the introduction of the multiverse, anything is possible. As always, heroes, stay amazing, and until the next video, bye-bye.